What's up, everybody? I got Dave Swange in here with me. Good to meet you, man. You too, man. And uh, he's to Kansas City. Yeah, that was my first time actually touring Kansas City or being in the getting out of the car. I've driven through it many times. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what are you gonna be talking about today? Uh, boat insurance, and then if they have questions on Missouri River, it's my backyard. It's so. your backyard. How long yeah. you been fishing here? Uh, thirty years, forty years. I don't know. Wow. Since, since I was about 14. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, the YouTube audience and the Facebook audience, we're just waiting on some more people to come over, make sure that everybody takes full advantage of this. And, you know, if they don't, at least you online will be taking full advantage of it. I think the last That's year too, we had about 60 or 70 people in the last one. So, uh, you know, they're really appreciating this live streaming thing. Well, uh, yeah, it's important. I've, I've experienced besides being an agent. I've also lost lower units and also totaled the boat. So <laughs> there's some perspectives there. And uh, everybody who owns a boat, we know that, what, what's the acronym? Uh, about another thousand? Uh, break out another thousand. Break out right another now. thousand. <laughs> so we'll be, get, we'll be getting started here in just a second. Make sure you share it out. Y'all, if you have Facebook or, or YouTube, if you have a community page, make sure you share it out. And uh, we got another celebrity over here, Ms. Lisa Fishing Chick. Come on in. <laughs> Jump right in there. <laughs> What's hello. up, girl? You want to say hello to everybody? Oh, hello. Oh, just, yeah, this, this <laughs> hello. microphone here. Where's Welcome. fishing chick? Well, Our first time. I don't think anybody meeting. wants to learn about right. boating. Right. All right. So, nice uh, to meet you. I don't yeah, think anybody so wants you, to learn about boating. You just said you just got here, right? No, I got here. Like or too close to lunch. Night. What you got in? Different, you just got to the conference. Yeah, yeah. I did awesome. a little walk around town. Really neat. Really neat. Awesome. So uh, we'll do some live streaming later on on uh, probably you know, the booths says, and everything, gonna, and maybe we'll give away a free uh, item. Talk to Lisa a little sure. bit more, but we're going to get started here with the seminar here in just a few minutes, y'all. So thanks for being patient with us, and hopefully, yeah. yeah yep, there's there's Anna. Hey, oh. I'll be there in a bit, fishing <laughs> chick. <laughs> But uh, we're going to get started, and this is the new camera angle, guys. Uh, thank you for those of you being patient with us. So hopefully that will work out a little better. And if you all want to let me know in the comments section what you think, here, I'll put it up full screen. Let's see. There you go. That's full screen right there. Let me know what you think about it. It looks like you can see the screen a little bit better. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we, we have insurance on our boat, but I'm going to find out if I got the right stuff. Um, but yeah, here we go, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Missouri River catfishing. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna get started. Dave, take it away. Okay. Well, we don't have much of an audience but for people out there live. Uh, this picture from. Uh, okay. Well, this picture actually is from about two miles from here, from Call Point, one of the tournaments I fished with All American Catfish. He's right there. Anyway, pretty. And this is downtown Kansas City. You can see the big pillars right here. That's where we're at. That's Bartle Hall. It's okay. Uh, my name's Dave Swearingen. I've been with Farm Bureau Insurance for 10 years. Uh, so we're going to go over boat insurance. I'm also an avid cat fisherman, fish tournaments all over the country. A little bit of, well, let's see if this works. Pictures are going to take a minute to download, it looks like. That's a couple years ago in St. Joe. I didn't want to make it too boring. I put a little background information on there so you can see that uh, a little bit of background. I mean, I'm not just somebody from the street they plucked to do this. I got a little experience. So I spent 30 years in the military, four tours. Uh, been with Farm Bureau 10 years, been fishing since I was 14. Uh, I was on Catfish Now magazine in those dates, and then uh, a guest on the Catfish Weekly show a couple times. All um, those were about boat insurance, too. So, should be another picture. It seems like they're taking a second to load here. There it is. It is catfish conference, so we got to have catfish pictures, right? Okay, here's what we're going to talk about on boat insurance. The types of coverage there are, what they mean, liability and med pay, and what they cover, and then uh, questions that you need to ask your agent, because I'm licensed in Missouri, so if you're from out of state, Kansas even, you may need to ask them these questions. So you insure your boat correctly. Uh, and there's extra, all kinds of extra endorsements with any insurance, and 
You want to know what those are? There it is. This was last Sunday on the river. That's 61 pounds. I got that mean look on my face because his tail uh, hit me where it shouldn't have. <laughs> okay. Just like it says up there, physical damage coverage is for damage to your vehicle. When it, when it says vehicle, that means your boat too, not just your vehicle. And whatever deductible you choose applies. Uh, and there's, there's different options. You can see actual cash value is the same as market value. I may go off screen here because I've been doing this so long, but you can read the you can read them. Agreed value is what I had on my boat when I had an accident. So the agreed value that you put on your deck page, that is the most you're going to get from your insurance company if you have a loss. So make sure that that's right. And we'll go into that a little bit. And then replacement costs. And you can see down here on replacement costs, your boat has to be five year, five model years old or newer to get replacement costs. Now, this most of this came from Progressive. I sell Farm Bureau Insurance, but I also sell Progressive. And they're a nationwide company, so you can get Progressive in any, any state you're in. Well, go back. That's my boat. That's the good side. I'll show you the bad side here in a little while. Okay, liability and med pay or bodily injury. First of all, you, you would have to be negligent for your liability to pay out. And you can never draw your own liability. Liability payments are always to others. Uh, medical payments, on the other hand, you can draw. If you get hurt, say you have a hospital deductible, so you uh, put $5,000 med pay on there and you can get paid for that. Uh, they have a deal about Mexico on there. Uh, I just put it in there because it's in their slides. Um, or look at it a little bit. So, uninsured and underinsured. I don't see a underinsured on here, but uninsured is important. So, for instance, I had a boat accident, and the insured, the other guy that hit me, had no insurance. So, even if he was at fault. There was no insurance to cover my damage or my injuries. But since I had uninsured, I had coverage. Same with underinsured boat insurance for somebody that has really low minimums. If you have underinsured, then their, their, their limits would kick in first in a boat accident, and then your limits would kick in to take over for any additional up to the limits that you have on the policy. Um, medical payments, you can read it there. It's, it's anybody in your boat, uh, even yourself, and it's for whatever it's on your deck page. You can go up to $25,000 on medical payments. Uh, a lot of times what I will do when I write policies is I write 5,000 because that covers most people's deck, uh, most of their uh, deductibles on their health insurance are dead. Nowadays it's 7,500. You can go to 10,000 if you want on that. Okay, physical damage coverage we covered. Comprehensive. So I think everybody knows that comprehensive is everything other than collision. So theft, fire, uh, acts of nature. Um, on the auto side, that would be your deer coverage. It's comprehensive. You don't have to worry about hitting a deer with a boat unless you fish different waters than I do. But uh, and that also covers your wreckage removal. Um, and it'll cover wreckage removal. If some lakes or rivers or whatever make you remove it from the water, if it sinks, it covers that. Or, or on ground, it covers that as well. And collision coverage is when you collide with something else. That would be, include your lower unit, uh, colliding with somebody else, colliding with a log, colliding with a buoy, whatever it might be. And sorry about the slides. I don't know how to decrease the size. So they're off the page a little bit. But that's what collision would cover, is everything that comprehensive doesn't. Well, Prolson Plus is unique to Progressive. It's, it's a neat uh, endorsement you can add. So if you have a boat that's from one to six years old, you know you've got a warranty on your motor, so you probably don't need this. Uh, but from six to 10 years old, I've never seen one like this where it says it'll cover wear and tear and defects are all covered. I don't know how to use the pointer. 
anyway you can see it you can see it right up here wear and tear is covered and you don't find any insurance policies out there that cover wear and tear so from six years old to ten years old i would put this on every boat policy i write but when you have a, a new a new motor uh, you know you got your you got your warranty from your manufacturer most of them go out six years but I, I really like this endorsement, especially for a 250 deductible, because I've been through two lower units. So, uh, disappearing, reducing deductible, some companies call it. So as you're with the company longer, um, like Farm Bureau starts at $100 each year that you don't have a claim. It takes 100 bucks off your deductible. Progressive is a little different. Um, I don't know what it is the first year. I know when I had my boat accident, I've been with them two years, and it was $750. So they took off 750 off of my deductible, which is a thousand. So I didn't have much of a deductible. There's a section in there for personal effects. And uh, so that's not your fishing equipment. Your personal effects is a phone, purse, you know, something like that. It might fall out of the boat or whatever. And then fishing equipment we're going to get into, it's, it's a little different. So, in, and when I, I don't think I've put a slide on here for value. When you're valuing your boat with your agent, make sure that any permanently attached equipment is listed under the value of your boat because uh, fish finders, uh, trolling motors, all your lights, all your uh, all your uh, rod holders. Shoot, by the time you, put, you deck it out with rod holders and bases, it's a lot of money. So... I was $12,000 short when I had a total boat loss accident because I didn't have enough money on my deck page for all that stuff. That's considered part of the boat. And with Progressive, when you have an accident, uh, they don't want you taking a single thing off the boat. So they want they want it all. So, so make sure when you're talking to your agent, you ask about that and get enough value on your boat. So if you do have a total loss, if you sink it or whatever it might be, that uh, you get... You're not upside down. Um, this one's a pretty good one too. Roadside assistance or trip interruption. So if you're going to Alabama for winter blues and you break down on the side of the road, they have coverage for that to come assist you, fix your trailer, and even put you up in a hotel for a night. That's cool coverage. I'd, we don't do that with Farm Bureau. We have roadside assistance, but we're not going to put you up in a hotel. So Progressive is a nationwide company where we're just Missouri, and they are – they're really good with their boat policies. And you can see everything they provide. Uh, you can see $100 for lodging, $50 for alternate transportation. Even I didn't see that part, $50 for food while your trailer and stuff's being fixed. So that would be pretty neat. Okay, you can't see it, but it says sign and glide. Um, and if you want to know about that, just give them the offline. It's, it's another endorsement. Coastal navigation, which doesn't apply to a lot of us. And then hurricane haul out, which most of us doesn't apply to. Unless you're fishing James River, maybe. I seem like I'm going through this way too fast. That was the Missouri River. This is actually a video. I don't know if it'll play. But it's boat insurance and catfishing, so it had to have some catfishing stuff in it. Yeah, there we go. This is uh, Lake of the Ozarks last winter, two winters ago. I think we caught 40 fish that day. In the winter, in the winter down there, it's just a blast. Just anchored up, throwing shad. And I don't think the sound's not going to play with it. So I was going to speed up, but you probably want to see the fish. So. They're not that big. I don't know if they can on on the live if they can hear the video or not. It's not playing here. That was a slot fish, so I think it's 26 to 34. It's got to go back immediately. You know, keep two over 34 down to the lake, and uh, and then every, everything 26 or under, you can keep 
up to your limit. Okay, so this is my boat accident. It was uh, August of 20. So I don't know if you can see that with this picture, probably online, they can see it really good, but this whole front end got smashed and they totaled my boat out. The, uh, I didn't take a picture of the inside, but the inside framing is busted, which you can, the Patriot over there, the new boat over there is, uh, from the window forward is the same as my Monster Cat. So everything in the front of it's the same. You got a picture of the other boat. So it was, it was 80, 83 degree water, 50 degree temperature, coming back in for a weigh in, just doing enough to keep it on plane. We had a full live well. These guys were going out, the locals going out to check trot lines, no lights, headed down the river full speed. And if I wouldn't have turned, I'd have went right over top of them. My, my boat's a tank, but this is when I figured out boat insurance. They had no boat insurance. So everything, one of the guys, I had a laceration on his leg. The other guy walked away and my partner and I walked away. Uh, but he, uh, they had no boat insurance. So my boat insurance, my liability helped pay for his hospital medical bills. He had a couple surgeries, was in the hospital for a couple of days. But if I wouldn't have had that, which is the most important thing, guess who they're coming after? You personally. So in Missouri, uh, boat insurance is not mandatory. Auto insurance is. But uh, I highly recommend boat insurance. Uh, this was Missouri River, um, south of Carrollton, south of Walkendall. You can't see it very good, but we were out there fishing. Probably shouldn't have been. That's lightning. That was a big blowhole from the flood, 19. Okay. I went through it pretty quick. Uh, any questions on boat insurance? Usually, have a lot. So, the electronics, do you have to like find your insurance agent with like receipts where you can add it on the boat? No, no, just you don't need to. For the live audience, he asked if you if you had to provide receipts and so forth. You don't have to, you just have to put that value on there so that you're covered. Now, at the time of loss, they might want those. I would hang on to them. Uh, the adjuster might want them, but for the as far as insuring it, Within reason, you can put as much as you want on there. If anyone online has any questions, just type them in the chat, and I'll ask. Is there something there that we are looking for? So when you're shopping for insurance, uh, what type of insurance should you be looking well, for? The gentleman's boat asking. insurance is an ancillary line or an extra line. It, it's not a big money maker for companies. So it's an extra line for them. Most of them, progressive I'll aside, ask your question, like Steve. Bureau, I can't write your boat unless I have autos or your house or both because it's an excess, excessive line is the word I was looking for. So it's an extra line. They don't make a lot of money off those long lines because boat insurance is fairly cheap. Um, but as far as looking for a company, I, don't we Google everything and uh, get the ratings on there? Um, AAA is what you want to look for, the best rated companies. Uh, I've had really good luck with Progressive. Uh, I've had clients, uh, one of them's here. Uh, he totaled his boat out on the Kansas River. Now, it took a while, and that's why you have an agent rather than buying it online. I'm a strong proponent of that because you buy it online, you go have an accident, you've got nobody to represent you. It's just you fighting the insurance company. If you have an agent, you got somebody speaking for you. So I, I fought with Progressive, and we got his boat paid for, totaled. So... You got a question online. Uh, how does one make sure they are covered for replacement at today's inflated used boat prices? Uh, what I suggest is annually, if you want to do it more often, annually go in and see your agent and across the board, not just your boat, but your house. These, these costs on houses right now is crazy. So uh, redo your residential cost guide and get those values up. So if you have a total loss, you're going to be backwards. So at least annually, maybe even every six months, go see your agent. If anybody has any questions about, uh, like they want to ask you more questions, <coughs> how can they get in contact with you? Okay, can you reach me on my, it's my personal slash work phone. It's 660-322-1113. Or you can email me at my work email. It's Dave Swearingen, which is S-W-E-A-R. 
I N G I N at M O F B Mary Ocean Frank Boy dot com. Yeah, he went too fast for me to type, guys. But and you can you're state, just I rewind the live and get that information. Send it to me. I'll help you the best I can. And I do have uh, I do have some cards laying up there on the counter. If anybody wants one, can take them. And and I have a hat. I have. Well, you guys have a pretty good chance. I'm gonna give away a hat. Uh, no right. googling. The first one to raise your hand and tell me the answer. But the Missouri state record rod and reel blue catfish. 110 pounds. Wrong. One what? One hundred and three. No. One hundred and three. One ten. Higher. Not one twenty five. Higher. Not one twenty seven. One hundred thirty. One hundred and thirty. The winner. There you go. You got to have. <laughs> yep. Can't walk in front. Of that. Sorry. Winner, winner, chicken digger, dinner. Here, let's try this. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so so the answer on that was 130 pounds. Uh, Greg Burnell, I think, was the guy's name that caught it, and it's been shoot, that's been a few years. Um, trot line record, which not, most of us don't care about, was I looked it up today was 120. So I know there's bigger ones caught on the Missouri that possibly haven't been told to anybody or shown to anybody because they don't want them to know because the Missouri is such a good fishery. Um, I didn't even put anything in there on trailers. Trailers uh, under the progressive policy. There's a question on there. There's a question about trailers. Do you Tim, want, just come see me. We'll figure you it out. You want to cover the trailer. And if you hit yes, you need to add that value to that total value that you have on your deck page. Yeah. Now, Farm Bureau is separate, different. We ensure the boat, motor, and trailer are all separate, and you have a value for each one, and you choose that value. Um, and on trailers, too, when you're pulling, you don't necessarily have to have liability on the trailer. When you're pulling it, liability extends from the pulling vehicle to that trailer. So so if you go unhook it somewhere, uh, you don't have liability on it, somebody steps on it, falls off, whatever, then you'd be in trouble. But most in most cases, you just, uh, you're, you're always hooked to your truck. So you got liability that extends. So. Anything else? I think this is it. I might have one more picture. That was it. Just to leave it on that one. Anybody else? Anything online? Yeah, that was Sunday. I, I slipped out of the office Tuesday and went to, I went through three cast nets and caught one 13 pounder. Be careful. It it's live. Your boss that's, can hear you. Expensive day. <laughs> I'm not telling spots. <laughs> Some of these guys around here know. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, thank him for his time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. And uh, we're going to. We'll be live for the next presentation in a little while. Thanks, everybody.